Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Hope all is going well with you. It's finally a beautiful sunny day here, and so everyone is in a great mood. So this week in Easy Steps to Wellness, we're talking about eat this, ditch that. And in case you're new around here, my name is Lainey Stump. I help people make better choices in the food they eat and the products that they use. And so today we're going to talk about ditching white rice. Um, I know that rice is a staple all over the world, but most of the white rice that we get here in America, it's pretty much had any benefit completely refined out of it. Um, white rice has had the bran and the germ removed, and so it's kind of an empty carb. That's not to say that I don't enjoy it when it's wrapped around some sushi, but um, it's really not something that has any benefit to being a side dish. So brown rice, on the other hand, is a whole grain and it's full of fiber and antioxidants and other types of nutrition. Um, all rice is low in protein, so you don't wanna fill up on rice ever. Um, if you're thinking serving size, um, think about half a cup which a visual for that would be like a cupcake wrapper full of rice. That's an appropriate amount. Anything more than that, it's more than you need. Um, brown rice can take a bit to cook, and I get that. Um, I cook mine most of the time in the Instant Pot, and I'll drop a um, recipe in the comments on the procedure I follow. Or I do instant brown rice super quick and easy on the stove or in the microwave. Although in the microwave, I always boil it over. I haven't mastered that one yet. But um, brown instant brown rice is just parboiled, meaning it's been partially cooked. So um, definitely better than instant brown rice, definitely better than white rice. The other replacement for rice would be quinoa or it looks like it should be pronounced quinoa, but it's quinoa. Um, it's actually not a grain, it's a seed closely related to the spinach seed. And so if you think of any time you're eating a seed, it actually has all the energy in it that it would need to make a plant grow. And that is the type of superfood that we wanna be putting into our body. It is um, full of fiber. It has more calcium in it than milk. So you're doing your body a world of good to do that. And also, has, unlike rice, it has protein. And so you can, um, you know, I'm not saying you necessarily want to eat more than half a cup, but you know that you're also giving yourself protein along with it. Um, you know, it also can help you lose weight. It's heart healthy. It um, has a prebiotic as opposed to like an antibiotic. Um, and it can prevent or manage diabetes. So quinoa is awesome. Um, I'll put how I make it. I also usually tend to use it in the Instant Pot. I'm kind of in love with my Instant Pot. Most of you know that. Um, but you can also do it in the microwave if you wanna be quick. But again, I tend to boil it over because I forget it's there and I walk away and then I have a mess. Um, but rinse it really well first. If you don't rinse it, quinoa can be bitter. So give it a good rinse in your strainer and that um, really helps out. Um, then another alternative would be cauliflower rice. So then it's not a grain at all. It's a vegetable and um, it's a, when we want to eat rice more like you would eat white rice as a side dish, I tend to do the cauliflower rice. And um, or you can combine it with some brown rice and no one's even gonna know it's even in there. And you can eat a lot more because you're eating a vegetable. So it's like a bonus. It can be a sneaky vegetable or it can be a bold face here as cauliflower rice on your plate. Um, if you're like one of those, I don't like brown rice type thing, believe me, my whole family was there. Um, I started combining white rice and brown rice and then just gradually increased the brown rice amount and now everyone really likes brown rice. That said, we tend not to eat it as a side dish but more incorporated like think um, chicken fried rice or bean and rice burritos. That's how we tend to eat the brown rice or 
we eat it um, in combination with the cauliflower rice in like some of our recipes. So that's that's how we do that. So I will put some recipes in the comments and um, so that way it's easy for you to switch out that white rice because no one really needs it unless it's on sushi and then it's really good. <laughs> so anyway, thanks a bunch. Have a fantastic afternoon. Please share this video and I will be back tomorrow with Eat This, Ditch That. Talk to you later. Bye.